Hello Cancer, Cancer Rising, and Cancer Moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting April 3rd, 2017. And a quick reminder for you guys out there, remember your monthly astrology horoscopes are up. They are on their own playlist on the main channel page, so you can see all about the astrology for April there. And if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com. So, what is going on with our astrology this week? Cancer. Well, the best part of the week is the latter half of the week. On Wednesday, we've got Mars, planet of action, energy, and conviction, forming a gorgeous connection with Pluto in your seventh house of partnerships and your closest one-on-one -on -one relationships. And if you have been trying to maybe get closer to a partner, it may be through the help of a friend. In fact, actually, our friendship circle and our partnership circles are starting to blend beautifully this week. And if you've been feeling like you need the help of a friend to get closer to a potential partner, well, that will also be on the menu, too. Didn't need to say it that way, but I did. It's going to go great, don't worry. Later on in the week, on Friday, we've got the Sun forming an opposition to Jupiter from your 10th house of career to your 4th house of home and family. And a wonderful financial opportunity may be coming up, but it is going to force us to make some big adjustments to how we handle our home routine. And we can do, we can pick and choose where we do make our compromises, but, you know, a promotion opportunity, a raise opportunity, or, op or maybe even a new job may actually come at odds a little bit uh, with the way we handle things at home in terms of, you know, our family life, our schedule, or even our commute. But it still may be worth it. So what is going on with your cards this week? Well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the Dreamer. And the Dreamer card talks about, again, opportunities to sort of see how something would play out, almost taking things on a bit of a test drive. And this could be a test drive in terms of uh, maybe, again, a new job opportunity, uh, maybe a new schedule, possibly even taking things on a test drive with a date. But we want to be careful with the Dreamer card, because the Dreamer card does say that this is just what it is. It's a trial run. It's an experimental run. Nothing is set in stone by taking this attempt or making this attempt simply all by itself. A formal plan or something more explicit will have to be made concrete in order for it to be so. So we can't just segue into it. However, I do like this card for you because I think a lot of you Cancer people will probably like being able to actually take something again for a test drive before fully committing. And you will be able to do that with people and even with work this week very, very well. For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we do have the Two of Cups reversed. Um, this card can be a little interesting at work because we're kind of noticing um, a bond kind of start to break down when it comes to a uh, either a work friend or a colleague or even a client, someone that we used to be super close to. There's a bit of a drift going on this week. And some of you may be even drifting away from com loyalty to the company or the organization, organization you're looking f uh, to work for, or one that you currently work for. You may be deciding to explore other options and other avenues. That is okay, because with this Two of Cups reverse card, you're asked to be a bit more open-ended. You're asked to not be afraid to, again, maybe test and see, maybe there are greener pastures out there. The Two of Cups reverse, though, is saying that we don't necessarily have to fully commit to a, you know, a full-blown transition like that if we don't want to, but there will be temptation there, and it may actually, you know, it may be able to actually kind of live up to its own boasts. So it's very important to pay attention to. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, and the others in your life, we do have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. And this card can indicate that there is actually some good news coming your way um, through a friend or a family member who has had some kind of big breakthrough in their own economic situation, and they want to be able to share that with you. However, the Ten of Pentacles reversed is saying that this is not something that's like going to last forever, so we may actually want to make sure that we are not trusting to this to be the new norm. However, with this card, the Ten of Pentacles reversed can also indicate um, a situation where you may be hearing about a friend or a relative who has actually had their own breakthrough, but it may be prompting them to have to take some distance away from things that you have come to understand as a bit of your normal routine. 
if you're used to hanging out with this person every so often, things may be diminishing for now, but I think they will come back to normal. Remember, this is not the new norm. It may cause us to change some things a little bit in the way we handle them, again, and our schedule with them, especially if, you know, say we usually count on them to help us out with X, Y, and Z, or maybe we, you know, we watch each other's kids. Um, there's a temporary disruption, but it is actually from a good thing. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Page of Pentacles upright. Now your challenge this week is interesting because the Page of Pentacles upright is, again, making sure that we are sealing confirmations and sealing commitments this week um, and making sure, again, we are not just trusting the feelings to be the facts. And that's a very big deal because, remember, Venus is still retrograde and so people can sometimes treat feelings as facts even though that's not the truth. And so if you are in a situation where, again, you're working with that dreamer card energy, you know, you're trying on a new job for size, or maybe you're, you're kind of hanging out with somebody new, the Page of Pentacles says that, you know, we don't want to put things down in a, in a super crystallized way. We don't want to force things. We don't want to force commitments prematurely. That's just crazy. But with the um, Page of Pentacles, it is important to get people to speak up and start narrating a little bit more about what's really going on and actually being able to talk about it. That fly by the seat of your pants energy with the dreamer card is nice and it is very floaty and very sweet, but it does need to be grounded at some point. So again, we don't want to take the feelings for facts. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we've got the devil card reversed. And a lot of you could be very happy to see this card, even though it's the devil and even though it's reversed, because the devil reversed is actually a card of freedom and the abandon or the release of a bad influence or a toxic influence that may have been kind of impeding your progress in your love life. Whether you are single and looking, or maybe there's been a bad influence going on where, you know, maybe there's a friend who, you know, kind of messes with your head a little bit when it comes to your love life. Maybe there's somebody who's been sort of being a bit intrusive with your relationship or with your marriage. Um, and with the devil card reversed, this can be a situation where, again, we kind of finally see this person go bye-bye. This can also be good news for those of you who may be worried about your children, um, maybe actually succumbing to peer pressure or a bad influence in his or her life, you know. We all ha have heard of those situations where it's like, you know, I don't really think that guy is a good influence on our son, or I think that girl might be trouble. We may be finally seeing our, our child, you know, also, you know, gaining some clarity on this person and deciding to, you know, step away from them as well. So a bad influence or a troublesome influence or, you know, again, an intrusive third party will be departing, you know, and that obstacle being removed will actually be able to allow for more freedom and more closeness again, especially when it comes to finally getting a more uh, a free-flowing and a, a lot more satisfactory uh, time, quality time spent with loved ones this week. So um, all in all, it looks pretty damn good. So that is your horoscope. Cancer, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.